Hi, this is Anya Auntie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a quick but smooth and even selection in Photoshop. When it comes to quickly selecting an object or a subject, we have a few tools here. Object Selection Tool, Quick Selection Tool, and Magic Wand. But if you ever work with these tools, you've probably noticed that most of the time, the selection they create is pretty uneven and jagged. Here is an example. Let's select and mask the subject of this photograph. Instead of using one of these tools, I'm going to just click Select Subject, and Photoshop will automatically find and select the prominent object. Here is our selection. Let's apply and create a mask by clicking this icon down here in the layer menu. Looks pretty good, but let's hold Alt and click on the mask to see the mask. And zoom in. Select subject did a pretty decent job on the hair, but the body edges look very jagged and uneven. I'll click back to normal view. So here's how we can fix that. Let's create a solid color adjustment layer by clicking this icon. Solid color black, okay. And put it behind our subject. Let's select the mask and click on the select and mask. Here we can see the menu with different properties. Let's change our view to on black and zoom in. The first slider that I'm going to use is smooth. I increase the radius to the point when our edges are fine, nice and smooth. Then I use a little bit of feathering to soften the edge. Looks much better, but still bumpy. So here's the trick. I'm going to increase the feather to the point when edges are super soft but even. Yes, now it looks way too blurred and our selection even goes beyond the subject. But don't worry, just make sure that everything is even and then increase the contrast. Let's play with feather a little bit more. and increase the contrast more. See how now we have a very nice, smooth and even edge. Make sure you have your output set to layer mask and click OK. Although we refined our edge nicely around the body, it changed the mask around the hair as well, which doesn't look quite good. I like the previous version more. So how do I keep the new mask around the body and go back to the old mask around my hair? Very easy. I go to my history menu, find the history state where I like my hair mask, and click this little square next to it, which indicates that we set the source for our history brush. Back to our last history state, click on the mask, grab history brush, 100% opacity, and brush around the hair. We can also continue refining the hair and click on one of the selection tools and select and mask again. And then take the refine edge brush, which is already selected, increase the size a little bit, click on the minus brush, Reset all the settings that we did before, back to zero. And brush over the hair edge to refine it a little bit more. Click OK. Let me just quickly fix this spot right here. I'm going to grab a brush tool, black color because black color hides the layer on the mask. And just quickly brush it over. Control zero to fit the window view and now we're done. Looks pretty good. I hope you enjoyed my tip on how to create a quick and smooth selection and 
If you want to see more tips like this, make sure to join us at the Photoshop Virtual Summit.